Hey guys, what's up? Welcome you in Java interview question and answer. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss about the one of the very important uh, collection related interview question. And question is that explain working of a hashing data structure, for example, hash map in Java. Yeah, so let's try to understand how basically hash map internally works in Java. So first point says that hash map is a hashing data structure which utilizes objects hash code to place that object inside map. It provides base case time complexity of big O of 1 for insertion and retrieval of any object. I hope this point is clear for you. So basically a uh, hash map is a hashing data structure means that works on the hashing algorithm right and uh, when you try to insert or retrieve any element then complexity time complexity would be big o of one hash map is not a thread safe so we should provide necessary synchronization if used in multi-threaded environment so as we know that hash map uh, basically by nature it's not a thread safe if you want to use it in multi-threaded environment then uh, you will have to think about the external synchronization right or you can use a uh, uh, utility method belongs to the basically collections uh, class yeah now next point says hash map is basically an array of buckets where each bucket uses linked list to hold elements so initially uh, basically uh, initial size of uh, uh, hash map is 16 so there are 16 buckets and every bucket basically holds a linked list where uh, when we try to uh, add any elements uh, in the hash map, any key value pairs, then that key value pair getting added into the uh, any bucket, right? That will try to find first bucket and inside the bucket, uh, that entry object basically that is key value pairs gets added in the link list itself. That we will see next. Now, when we talk about the initial capacity, the default initial capacity of hash map is 16, and that is done nothing but the number of buckets and it is always expressed in the power of 2 like 2 raised to 1 that is 2 2 raised to 2 that is 4 Sim similarly 2 raised to uh, 4 that's 16 yeah, etc right so in uh, basically usually we set the capacity of uh, hash map uh, in the power of 2 now when we talk about the put operation so put operation the hash map basically uh, gives the time complexity uh, complexity of uh, big o of 1 if there is no collision occurs right so let's try to understand how put method in hash map works internally so when we add a key value pair to hash map it uh, basically queries a keys hash code hash map uses that code to calculate the bucket index in which uh, to place the key value so uh, whenever you try to add a key value pair in the hash map then basically hash map calls uh, try to find the bucket uh, by calling uh, by calling uh, sorry uh, yeah by calling this method here you can say for index method right so basically hash map tries to find the correct bucket where hash map has to put that key value pairs so hash map basically tries to find first the hash code of the key so key and value both are object in the hash map so uh, hash map will find the first of all hash code of the key object and uh, that will apply the hashing algorithm to find the correct bucket where uh, this key value pair has to add right so once the bucket is identified the key value pair is added uh, to the uh, list line at the bucket address when multiple objects uh, map to the same bucket we will call that phenomenon is collision right so uh, we should have a proper if you are uh, making a custom object as a key in the hash map then we should have a proper key and ha sorry hash code and equals method to be overridden in the uh, uh, basically uh, custom key class right then uh, only you can maintain the uh, basically put operation complexity as a uh, big o of one yeah as uh, as well as uh, performance of get uh, if you have a proper uh, overridden equals and hash code method then put and get method will have a complexity big o of a one else uh, performance of your application will be uh, basically uh, decreased right uh, because if you do not have a proper ha hash code and equals method then 
there is prob probability in single bucket you can have a more than one elements right so uh, that's how basically uh, here uh, put method works in the hash map so here in this figure you can uh, see in bucket uh, basically one and that is index zero you have basically one uh, basically link list right uh, and which holds the entry object entry object is nothing but that's key value pairs yeah so every uh, every basically uh, uh, bucket will have a separate uh, uh, link list right here you can say this is link list and uh, whenever you try to call the put method by calling by putting key value pairs right then first of all uh, hash map calculates the uh, index right index means bucket right where uh, that elements has to put and how basically that uh, index calculate gets calculated first of all this is the hash code of uh, your uh, key object and that's divides by the number of buckets that gives the index number and index is nothing but the bucket number right now once a bucket is decided that uh, basically uh, that uh, key value pairs will be added into the underlying uh, list object right link list object now when we talk about the get operation so get operation is ha is having time complexity big o of one uh, if you, you do not have any collision then in that case right a get operation takes a key key fifth so if you look into the get operation right so get always takes the key object um, i mean key and you'll get the corresponding value right so get operation takes a key and then calculates the index of the bucket using the uh, method mentioned below so here you can see the method same method which we have talked earlier then that bucket's list is searched searched for the given key using the keys equals method finally the result is returned right so that's how basically uh, uh, get method works in the hash map now when we talk about the load factor and rehashing so these are the keywords we should be very much clear because when you go for the interview people interviewer may ask you uh, what is the load factor and rehashing phenomena in the hash map so rehashing occurs uh, automatically by the map when the number of keys in the map reaches threshold value right so how we can calculate basically threshold value when rehashing occurs so first of all uh, you know the capacity right uh, capacity initial capacity of hash map is if you do not set capacity then initial capacity would be 16 and uh, 16 if you multiply the by the 16 with the load factor 0 0.7 which is default one then th that number comes which is 12 right so once you add the 12 element right and after that if you try to uh, add another element means 30 13th element in the in the hash map that basically you are going beyond the threshold then rehashing uh, it's, it starts occurring after rehashing a new array is created with more capacity and all the existing content are copied over to it so that's the basically rehashing happens and what's the consequences of rehashing uh, uh, you can understand right so rehashing means uh, uh, basically new uh, uh, array will be created internally all the existing elements will be copied to new array right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you understood how basically hash map works internally and how basically hashing data structure works internally if you uh, talk about any hashing data structure then you should always think about the uh, basically hashing algorithm right uh, so uh, that's all i have in this video i hope this information is useful for you if you go for interview or either you are working on any 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 existing projects or you are going for interview that may be helpful for you guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial